Welcome to OE Chris Creation. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a visor cap, the same way to make uh, a face cap. Okay, so to get this front, you can get a paper, then place this on this like this. You place it on it, get your pen or your shock, and then draw a line. Draw out the shape, draw out the shape, and then cut it out. You draw out the shape and cut it out. So can you see? Draw it out like this and then cut it out. You can use any face cap. Use any face cap. Put the front on a paper or on anything that you can get and then cut out the front shape. You just draft it out like this. Can you see? So when you are done cutting it out, you get your, your marco. Then you use it to cut your marco. You use it to cut your fabric, the material that you want to use. You just place it. You fold it into two like this. Fold your material into two like this. There's no measurement for it. It is what you have here that you are going to cut. Place it on it like this. Make sure it's folded into two, into two equal parts. Then draw it out and cut it out. Then also I have a breast pad here. I've already cut it out. Look at it. I want to use it to cover it. So then cut out your marco. I've already cut out my marco also. Look at it. This is a marco. This is the same thing that people that make shoe use. They use it for shoe making. For bag making also, it's called a marco. You also cut it. Then you cut your materials. So this is it. This is our anniversary clothes. I mean, I'm a dunamite and this is Dunamis 25th anniversary clothes. And I'm going to use it to make a visa cap. Okay? Stay connected. So what I'm going to do, after cutting this into two like this, you know, it has the back side. It has the wrong and the, the good side. So what I'm going to do is to put, to place this uh, breast pad on this, like this. Look at it. Because I want it to be soft. You can use a foam. Depends on what you want to use. You can even use a foam to cover it, cover your marco to make it to be very soft. So then I will place this on it like this. Because this is the place I'll be using for the fronter. Can you see? So make sure that there is a space here. You understand? So I will go ahead and sew it round on the machine like this. So you can see how I'm stitching it. Can you see it very well? I'm stitching it together. It's a bit strong, so you have to to be careful. Don't don't rush it. What you are sewing is the the marco. You sew on the marco. Make sure you are sewing on the marco. So I'm attaching it together with the breast part and the other parts of the fabric. So after sewing it to it like this, look at it. This is a good part. This is the second phase, so you put it together like this. 
look at it here can you see can you see this place can you see it you see so you put this one to eat like this and then sew it round when you are done you turn it over okay so look at it i'm done turning it can you see can you see so you fold this in like this fold this thing in bring them together and then close it close it around here so that you have a neat work hmm? can you see that the face cap is already forming can you see so the next thing is that uh, you cut out your strip what you will use what i did was to i had uh, i have 25 inches here so and then a uh, four inches length where is my tip yes a four inches length look at it from here to here is four inches so then i mark about one inch by the side and i just cut it out i just gave it a shape look at it you can make it straight like this one is a straight one it's just three inches wide, uh, wide and then 23 inches can you see so this one is just straight just that i want this one to curve that's why i i just curve it like this so i'm going to go ahead I'll fold it into two equal parts like this. Can you see? Into two equal parts. Then sew it and turn it over. Which I will now use it to attach to this. I'll use it and attach it to this. Do you get it? Get it. Yeah, look at it. Close it together like this. Can you see? Inner look and my label on it. See?